our conditions remaining mildly bearish in this bull market, continuing to see some weakness here uh, overall in uh, S&P 500 really across the board. Saw some sliding here in momentum back down to that range bound location and breadth also weakening. Saw the buy sell ratio shift. We'll go over that here in just a moment. Also seeing sentiment pull back off that real extreme level. And uh, that is also showing up here in a couple of other indicators that we'll go over. Uh, buy sell ratio has now shift less than one. We're back under 1.83, which means that bears are gaining momentum. Bears are uh, increasingly in control of this uh, current retracement right here. If we take a look at some of the indices here, one of the ones that I was mentioning here is the VIX. VIX is that fear-based indicator. We saw a real sharp spike on that yesterday, and that is also adding to the case of continued weakness in uh, this current re uh, retracement. Although S&P 500 still sitting in that momentum zone, this upper range right here, that 548 range, watching for some support right here to see if we do get any kind of a bounce. It has slid uh, underneath this 554 range, which was a significant support area as well. We're seeing re uh, really a lot of weakness in tech. Uh, NVIDIA getting clobbered here in this last few trading sessions. In fact, let's take a quick look there. And uh, you can see that we've got NVIDIA attempted this upper momentum rally, gave most of that back, and is now pulling back pretty deeply into this corrective zone. And overall concerns really in the market going forward for technology as well. Let's jump over and look at uh, the bond market. We've got TLT, which had a really nice rally yesterday. So that's also a, a good confirmation move uh, for the long bond. That interest rate's pulling back a little bit with that. That's a, a, it's a, a bullish scenario that we would want to see, continue to see movement in SHY, the short end of that yield curve as well. If we jump over to sectors, we did see uh, some significant cracking in some of the trends here uh, across the board for sectors we're seeing more and more moving back into that hold range uh, energy uh, also back into that sell zone we did see oil that really is getting crushed let's take a look at gold first gold holding up at that 228 location still in the momentum zone but still that flat corrective pattern starting to push things back but we're still in this overall uptrend keep an eye on gold if the market continues to weaken right here silver uh, very similar not quite as strong as gold still pulling back into that 2578 range and then we're seeing uso which is just really getting beat up again another two percent to the downside breaking through this support area right here as well could be a could be a, a quick trip to 65 uh, we'll see if we do get any kind of a bounce or support anywhere inside of this zone right here it certainly could bounce but we're seeing just really an aggressive sell-off here in oil it is at that extreme end of that downturn obviously you can see that from 77 to 69 in just a few short days uh, it's going to more than likely get some kind of a counter trend bounce here eventually from these levels but a pretty aggressive trend developing there for uso if we jump over to the muscle stocks group we're seeing asts which has been a real high flyer space mobile and getting some more interest here as well as they announced uh, their, their, their first launch date. They, they actually don't have any satellites yet that are in space, but they've got a launch date. Really big, uh, lots of interest here in this stock, getting a new good confirmation bias, massive volume coming back in and back up into that upper momentum zone. You can see some, some uh, indecision though in that candle where you're getting that wick candle that is looking like this. Uh, you've got a lot of buyers and you got sellers and you got back down here again. So some indecision in that overall pattern, but nonetheless, uh, interesting stock to consider and keep an eye on. Also seen some nice moves here in biotech names, L E and Z with a nice confirmation move and uh, some other names here as well to consider. Nothing really uh, real mainstream type names that are showing up in this list, at least as of today uh, in that upper level. Keep an eye on that new buy list as uh, markets are continuing to, to retrace. Just be aware of your position size and the overall portfolio allocation as we uh, see if we can get a bounce here or if we continue to see some deterioration in these current trends. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a, a fantastic day today.